Hey guys, it's Morgan coming to you with another tech video, another install video. Uh, today I'm going to be installing a new part on the Mako 360 on this lovely uh, KTM 300. It used to be a 250. Uh, this is Daisy, our 2018 uh, KTM. Used to be 250 XCW, now it's a 300 XCW. Um, and I've been running the Mako 360, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, just put one on our new 125. Thanks to Lance at uh, XC Gear for that. Um, but this bike is more of like my adventure go exploring bike. So I like to run a GPS on it. And uh, I've been running this mount right here, which actually works just fine. GPS sits here. I'll show you the, the cage I have for it here in a second. Um, here actually. So. I run this uh, cage because I run a Garmin uh, E-Trex 22X, I think is what it is. Anyway, um, I run this uh, Rost off-road from South Africa, actually. Anyway, it's cool. It's aluminum, uh, super burly, good closure system. Anyway, it's awesome. And it bolts right to here. <laughs> bolts right there. Uh, so it's nice. But um, Lance saw that on one of my videos and he said, hey, man, I got a new product for you. I'd love to get to you so you can try it out. So I said... All right, so uh, let's check it out. All right, so it's two pieces. Uh, it's called as dashboard, I think is what they call it on their website. It's pretty sweet. So it obviously is going to involve a new top clamp so that this can sit down on here and be able to um, mount my GPS right there. And the cool thing is, um, I think that if I get this all set up right, if I want, I can just take two bolts out of the sides here and the whole thing comes off and it's normal, um, just a normal bike without a GPS and then this goes back on. So really, really cool. Now the setup, I've been looking at this thing. I want to put this directly in the middle and the holes that are already in here just don't line up with the holes that are in the mount, but that's okay. Uh, they do have a bunch of threaded holes, which is nice. But um, that's no big deal because what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill and tap two holes into here to hold this thing on. So let me show you how I'm going to decide exactly what that looks like. So this thing can go either way, like that or like that. I don't think it really matters which way it goes. So I guess we'll run it like, like that for whatever. And we got the bolts. I'm just going to do this to hold it in place. All right, so we got this just lightly tightened down. Now we're going to take this and we're going to line it up in the middle. And it doesn't matter if it's like absolutely perfect. It's close though. We want to make sure it's close. We're going to push down. We're going to take our center punch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with just one. There we go. And the reason I'm just going to do one is that I want to get this drilled and tapped and then I want to be able to bolt it down to hold this on here tight while I mark the other hole so I can make sure it's straight. So there we go. We got our tap over here, so come on over here to the vise. All right, so the bolts that it uses are four by 0.7, so that's our tap. So we're gonna go with a one eight drill bit. And just gonna drill straight through this thing. Get our tap holder. And we're just gonna tap this little hole. Nothing special, except for that you wanna just try to go straight in as you can. All the way through. Runner through. Make sure it's all moving nice and smooth. Make sure our bolt works. 
Let's take our GPS mount, take our bolt, run it in here. We'll snug it down pretty good, not too tight, so we can then we can get this thing so it looks nice and straight. Because that's really the key here, is that when you're sitting on the bike, <coughs> that it looks straight. Because <laughs> it doesn't really matter if it's perfectly straight, as long as it looks straight to you. So I like that. I think that looks good. And when you're doing jobs like this where you're making holes and doing stuff and it's always good to just take your time you don't have to hurry um, because then it looks good it's straight everything's good um, that's why I go ahead and bolt that thing down then mark it then take it off instead of just trying to do it all with um, you know holding it so now we should be good to go Tap this hole just like the other one. Awesome. So now we will test fit this sucker. Perfect. Nice and tight. I think that's going to work. It's great. Bolts don't come through the back or anything. Everything's great. So now, let's mount the new top clamp. Uh, super easy, but I'll just go through what we're gonna do. Comes off nice and easy. We'll take our shark bite out. While this is apart, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up really good. Now I'm going to take our shark bite, put it back on there, and we're going to line this up and just go real easy on, there we go. Alright now we're going to tighten these things down to 12 foot pounds in a crisscross pattern. All right, now take our dashboard. Let's check it out. So this is going to be an issue, which I was definitely concerned about uh, before. Let's see, because I don't know where I should put that cable. I'm going to find a place and probably have to zip tie it out of the way um, when I run this, but that's okay. Uh, it's not going to go over it. Probably, probably zip tie it right there, actually. So now, actually, that's pretty cool. Since I can move it forward and back, I can decide, you know, where I want. I'll probably run it as far forward as possible. And then I think put a zip tie right there. And then we just tighten those down. It's nice to get to take that off. Clears up some real estate on the handlebars. I really like to not have too much stuff on here, which I know is hilarious to say since I just put a GPS mount on there. Um, but. Let me show you how easy that comes off. So, I can do it one of two ways. I can either, you know, like, okay, I don't wanna run the GPS. I can come up here, take these bolts out that I just put in, take the whole thing off. Like that, and we're back to normal, or, Oh, actually, I just realized there's 
two more bolts. So I'm excited, guys. Let me show you something. I didn't even, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> but I think I solved my cable problem. So originally, I had the bolts in uh, these bottom holes here, which kept it from going too far up. But now I just saw that, okay, <clears throat> I have these other two holes. Like I said, I should have looked, but either whatever, we're learning together. Um, so I'm gonna put those bolts back in the front. I might not even have a issue at all with the throttle cable. Yeah. I think that'll be just fine. I mean, that shouldn't hang up on anything. <clears throat> so then the other way, The other way I can take this off if I don't want it on here is if the GPS isn't in it, which it's not, I can just take these smaller bolts out that we just tapped the holes for. And off it comes. Dashboard stays. So I like it. I think that's going to be awesome. I think I'm... Uh, like I said, I've, I've been wanting to run a GPS more for some of our rides, kind of get mileages. Also have some plans for some big rides coming up um, that we're trying to put together here. So that will be helpful to have a GPS for that. I think that looks pretty good, guys. It's nice, right dead center, easy to see. Um, you know, if I needed to, if I wanted to run two GPSs, I could put holes out here and mount two of them side by side which would be pretty cool if I was going to do a hard enduro or something like that but like I said I think this bike is going to become kind of my more adventure bike um, doing the really hard gnarly hard enduro kind of riding and also going to mount a chainsaw mount on it this year for um, cutting trails so yeah that worked out anyway guys if you're interested in that stuff make sure you check out xcgear.com I'll put a link in the description um those guys are awesome. You know, they can sell you a Mako 360, which is a huge help for us old guys with bad wrists and bad elbows and bad shoulders. <laughs> it makes our my life a lot better. Um, and then now he has this new dashboard setup, which is really cool. So anyway, hope you guys like that video. Hope you get out and spread the gospel two wheels. And as always, I hope that I'm inspiring you guys to work on and get out and ride your dirt bikes. <laughs>